All right, so this time we're going to look at the 5X Trailer Valet. It is a 5,000 pound trailer valet that is either a hand crank or you can get an adapter to hook up to a small, even they say like a 3 8 cordless drill, which seems a little crazy, but we'll give it a shot. I've got a small little DeWalt 20 volt and we'll see if it can move it around. So uh, we're going to get this thing unboxed. Um, I do have some description, or uh, excuse me, I have some links in the description to the particular one I've got. They have a do have a larger version of this also, and then they have a ball mounted version. Um, but it's it's more money and it's more than I wanted to spend. So um, yeah, let's get it unboxed. See what it looks like. Go from there. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. See what comes in the box. Cardboard. Packing stuff. I did order the uh, the drill attachment that I can uh, put on a three or a half inch drill to drive this. So it's just a little driver. Lots of different packing stuff. Some type of, I don't know what that is. Some manuals. Um, so I was able to find a, a refurb kit. Um, so they went through and they did a factory refurb on this. I, I don't have zero, I have zero problem buying that kind of stuff. So, um, and then it's got the instructions. This must be the handle. handle and the brackets and the bolt. So these are the backing brackets for the mounting. We've got two of those. This is your mounting plate that goes onto the frame. Um, I am probably going to order a second one of these. I didn't yet. I wanted to get this here and kind of see how um, how well it worked and if I was happy with it. So I've got a couple different trailers. Um, I've got the dump trailer and then I've got the uh, trailer that I use for my uh, um, tools and stuff. And, um, So, okay, that doesn't. Oh, that's it. Oh, nice. Of that. So, I can set this e either up for a right hand or left hand mount, which is going to be helpful because on my cargo trailer, uh, on the right hand side I've got the spare wheel so this is going to go on the left hand side so I can switch this back and forth if I need to be um, yeah all right I think we'll go ahead and get this thing that's everything in the box bracket, instructions, and the drill attachment. So let's go ahead and get it mounted up on the trailer and then we'll go from there. All right, so the installation process actually is relatively straightforward. It's just got this bracket that I'm covering up, which you can't see very well. Um, and then uh, there's uh, four bolts 
and a couple of brackets on the back side. What I didn't realize as um, as I found out a little bit later that I should have flipped this over in the opposite direction because what it ends up doing is when I go to turn it um, it runs into it so afterwards I when you see when we're moving stuff I end up moving it the other direction so um, yeah but anyways pretty straightforward just four bolts and then it, there does have another bolt that you can put on where the jack goes onto that circle to keep it from uh, keep it in place and uh, I'm gonna take this jack off I'm not gonna leave it off and I'm planning to move it from one vehicle or one trailer to another uh, when I use it because I got it uh, three different trailers I could use this for so So this is definitely one of the applications I was looking to use it for. Um, we have a uh, driveway that um, it narrows down to a single lane. And uh, this way, it just makes it get the vehicles in and out. So uh, when I'm not using the trailer, I can slide it in here and then we can pull two cars up alongside in front of it and then not have to be moving cars back and forth to, it in and I can slam this thing all the way up to the the garage nice and tight um, this is a 3,000 pound trailer I think this um, be nice to actually put it on a scale one time but with the trailer loaded and with all the materials and uh, stuff in there this thing I bet is well in excess of 3,000 pounds or really right on the edge so um, so yeah that worked out uh, pretty well and uh, how we can uh, uh, park in the gr driveway once again. All right, that went pretty smoothly. I was able to get this tucked in alongside here. Um, you can probably tell when I was doing it, if you let off on this even just a little bit, that thing locks back up. So you've got to keep pressure up on that. So uh, with the drill, I think you get, it's something you got to be careful of. Um, like that's in a locked position. So it doesn't take much to lock that up. But other than that, um, I'm on the, the slower speed. Um, and I think the fast speed with the drill is just is too fast, even with the drill in its lowest position. If I had a uh, drill that was turning slower, it might be better. But... Yeah, so I was able to get that tucked in there, and uh, I think that's going to work out nice getting it into the uh, tight spaces that I need to between the storage locker and onto job sites. I will probably pick up another uh, mount for this. Um, I've got a job that's coming up that's, we can probably, getting it backed in through the gate that we're going to be going through is going to be challenging, so we might like back the trailer in in the alley and then uh, hook it up and pull it out just because it's a little easier so um, and probably quicker so that worked out a lot better than I was hoping it uh, that safety mechanism where you've got to keep it fully up in that uh, upright position or it locks is a little on the annoying side it'd be nice if it was a little bit um, not so touchy but other than that it worked around um, in the slow position with the drill I was able to move around turn this trailer and spin it around to do kind of whatever I wanted to. So in that regard, I think it's going to work out really well in getting into some tight positions. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. There is a link in the description uh, if you're looking to purchase this. And if you got any other questions, let me know. Happy to try to answer them. And until uh, next time, have a good one.